Come with us as we celebrate 35 years of ministry and discover the key to surviving the tough times in life. How do you respond to tough times? Do you know the key of surviving the difficult times in life when it seems that everything around you is falling apart and you don't even see a lot of evidence that God is there? How do you respond to that? Well, what is the key to all of that? Well, in this passage of Scripture, the Bible says in verse 27, look at that if you will, By faith he, that is Moses, left Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. The third thing I want to say to you about tough times is this. All tough times are conquerable no matter what when we learn the key to surviving. When we learn the key to surviving, all tough times are conquerable. Now, look at that, look at that verse because herein lies the key. He says, By faith he left Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is unseen. Now, what does he mean by endured? That word means to be strong, to hold out, to hold up under even the most crushing kind of pressure when it just seems everything is going to fall apart somehow. You hold out. You hang in there. There's a resolution, a fortitude that does not give up, that does not faint, that does not give in, that does not quit, that does not walk away. He endured. How did he endure? All of the conflicts that surrounded him would have crushed many people. How is it that Moses would stood all of that? The Bible says that he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Now, here's what I want you to get if you forget everything else that I've said and everything I'm going to say. Here's the key to surviving tough times. Learning to walk in the continuing awareness that you're walking in the presence of God. Learning to walk in the continuing awareness that you're walking in the presence of God. That is what that verse is all about. He endured. He held up. He was able to hang in there. He didn't faint. He didn't give in. He didn't walk out. He didn't run away. When everything seemed to be so absolutely impossible, he didn't flinch. Why? Because Moses walked as a man who walked in the awareness that he was walking in the presence of Almighty God. Listen, his focus was not on Egyptians. His focus was not on Pharaoh. His focus was not on the three million people who would head for the desert. His focus was upon God. Listen, Everything Moses began to see following the burning bush, he saw it as in the presence of God. He saw everything not only in the presence of God, but he saw everything under the control of God. Listen to me. When you and I learn to walk in the awareness of the presence of God, we begin to see everything as in the presence of our sovereign God. We begin to see everything under the control of a sovereign God. That is a sovereign, faithful, all-wise, loving God, one who has all things under his control, who only does the loving, wise thing, who is faithful to keep his word. Moses' whole perspective on life was different. Why? Because at the burning bush, he heard something he could never forget. He heard the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He heard Jehovah God. He heard the God who was greater than the gods of Egypt. He heard the only true God say to him, Moses, Moses, I will be with you. He never forgot that. Have you ever learned yet in your Christian life to walk in the awareness that every day, you, every moment, you're walking in the presence of Almighty God? Sovereign, loving, all-wise, faithful God. Let me tell you how you can tell whether you have or not. If you have seasons of worry and anxiety and fret 
and fears and cares and on and on you go, then my friend, you've missed something. doesn't mean that not any of us will ever reach the stage where it'll never come to our mind. But my friend, when these things come to my, my minds, when we have learned to walk in the awareness of His presence, what happens? We suddenly focus that against the fact that we are walking in the presence of Almighty God and there is no care, no fretting, no worry, no fear, no trouble, no trial, no heartache, no loss, no suffering, no anything that is all wise, loving hand cannot take care of absolutely, perfectly, and fully.